Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the Locky or Lock or however it's pronounced mini drone. So this is very much in the style of the Tello. Just let me open the, the zip on here. It's stuck. So it comes in this case. So it comes in there's no outer box. And you get the drone, the controller, the holder for the your phone, and then in the back some bits. So let me just show you the drone itself. So this is the drone. As you can see, it's very Tello-esque. It's got very similar size props to the Tello. And it flies really, really nicely. You can see it's very, very nicely finished off. I hope you can see that. It's very strong, a bit of flex in the arms. The fit and finish is really nice. Camera's in the front here, it's not adjustable. And this is your battery. This is a 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp hour battery. And it slides in the back. This slides into the back here. And then on the top of the drone you have an on and off switch. And then you've got this kind of battery indicator. You also have a battery indicator on the app, which I'll show you shortly, which is quite nice. And it doesn't actually seem that bad, it seems quite accurate. So that's your battery. It comes with a bag with a spare set of props in, prop removal tool, some prop guards if you're flying it indoors. I've just flown it, you can see from the video, and I didn't use the prop guards, and the charger. So, pretty standard fare. It comes with this little manual, which is for the app, and then a full instruction manual, which is really good for the drone. So even on the app, you've got these instructions here, if you read them, it'll show you which all the... Uh, the icons, because there's a lot of icons on the screen, which I'll show you on the app in a minute, a lot of icons. So that's decent, and then obviously where your codes to download from. And this is the controller itself. So the controller has no sticks, if you like, they've got these slider buttons. Actually, it's really, it's very easy to control, it runs on four. Um, treble A batteries and then it has this device that clips in here to hold that on and then you get two screws to hold this on I didn't bother I just put the phone in my I wasn't using it to fly with FPV because the FPV on these things is never great so this is your controller so as you can see you've got up and down buttons you've got take off and land should I say you've got reverse all your settings which I'll tell you about in a minute you've got picture take a picture take a video and then you have got a headless mode button. These are your trim controls. You've got a speed rate on here, one, two, and three. And this button will, you'll see in the video, it makes the drone spin. So if it's facing that way and you hit that button, it'll come this way to you. And if you hit the other button, you can reverse your controls and you can fly it that way around. So this will become the back of the quad and this will become the front. Obviously, that's for doing selfie mode. So it's quite feature rich is this drone to be honest, for the price, I don't think it's bad at all for the price. And you can see from the video I think it flies really nicely. I've had to do a very short video indoors because the weather is horrendous in the UK, as it always is. So it's quite a short video you'll see coming up but I'll show you it flying and you can also see the video quality coming from the camera. You have to bear in mind that the room is quite dim, I mean because it's that dull outside that I can't, there's nowhere really bright in the house to show it you. So, I also like the fact it comes in this little case. I, I quite like things that come in cases. I'm a bit case addicted, as my wife will tell you. So, let's have a look at the drone. Let's turn it on. So, single press on the back. This battery is flat, I'll tell you that, because I've just done the flight, and you'll see it run out of battery, and the flight on does itself. And then we just simply, as normal, up and down on your throttle control to bind it. So we're now bound. So I'm just going to show you the app, because the app is quite impressive, to be honest. I'm going to point it against a black object, you'll see why, because there's a lot of icons on the screen. And if it's against a white object, uh, you tend to, you, well you'll see, let me show you. So let's just connect it so it goes on to, let's just find the setting. And what you want is lock and then the numbers at the end. Come out of that and then this is the app itself. The download codes are on this bit of paper, you'll see. But this is the app, you can just search for it under lock. And there you go. So this is the app. So this is showing you what these codes are for, what the things are for. So you've got photography button, take a photo button, take a video button. That's your folder with your files in. This altitude hold here, if you want to turn it on and off. 
a speed switch, a gravity sensor and display hidden interface. In other words, it'll take all of the ways you get a picture of your screen. You've got gesture photography, which I didn't try, and these are different flight modes. I'll show you that in a second, and you set up. So we'll just go into the app. So let me just point it against. See what I mean about it? white? Because they've got white on white, which is never the best. So let's just point it against something that I can see. So they're the ones they showed you on the top. On this bit of paper you're going to see all them, so if I go into this one and I get into my flight modes, I have a normal flight mode which I've been flying, long distance flying, I don't really know what that difference that makes, and a one button 360 mode, which you can do, uh, it'll just do a circle kind of thing. And then on here you've also got a follow me mode. But there, if you look, is a battery indicator. Now, once I take off, that will drop, and it's obviously going to drop because it's not drawing any current at the minute because it's just sat there. I shouldn't have done that, should I? So, there is your 37%. If I was to start the motors up, it will drop. So, let's just start the motors up. Uh, hang on a minute, just to turn the motors off again. Just put that on there because what's going to happen is when I start these motors up, start the motors up again. Yeah, the battery dropped down to 20 odd percent straight away as soon as I did that. Land it again. So we have the take off and land button. What you need to do with this, you're going to see in the video, is get some height. If it's too low to the ground, your hover won't be as good. It just won't hover as well. And once you get some height up, it's absolutely fine. So, do I like this drone? I actually do. I didn't think, I, I, did, I wasn't sure I would. There you go, so it's got battery less than 20% now. It will land once it's got that icon on the screen. You're going to see in the video that it does land itself. I wasn't sure I would like this because it, it's, it's very much a Tello clone, but it's not. It, it, it flies different than a Tello, and in its own right, it's a decent little drone. As I say, for the money, it's not Tello money. It's a lot less. So, I, yeah, I recommend this. I really do. The other videos, if you want to watch them on YouTube with someone flying, you might get some footage of it flying outside and haven't been able to, unfortunately, because of the weather. But I've seen a couple of videos on it now, and I do like the little drone, to be honest. So, I'm going to leave you some flight footage. And you're going to see it playing in my lounge. It's very dark in there, unfortunately. I've got some light on, but it's not as bright as it should be. Very dull day. So you'll see that even the picture from my GoPro doesn't look the best. And you're going to see the images that come from this. What I will tell you is this camera is quite zoomed in. So I don't ever recommend flying these things for FPV. And so if you want to, if you want to get an image of something, make sure you're a few feet away from it. If you want to get an image of, a, of people and stuff, don't get too close because it will blow it out. So I like the app, I actually love this, and considering this is just like a throw-in if you like, because this is designed to fly by the phone, I haven't tried flying it by the phone, because people would, if you watch my channel, I actually don't like flying it by the phone, again I've watched other videos and it flies well on the phone. So I recommend it, thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day. Okay, like I said I would have preferred to do this flight outside but the weather is horrendous so let's just take off so hit take off button and go up let's check it for stability yeah it seems more than it seems too bad loses a bit of height get some more height yeah so once you've got the height up it seems to hover really nice let's see how yeah, it's obviously in a low speed rate here because I'm in my lounge, but you can see a bit of drift in there, because it, that's because of the floor type you've got. There you go, let's get it up in here. So that's the reverse function. So if you do that, you can get the camera to face if you want to use it for selfie mode. I'm only going to do a short flight of this, so let's just uh, t get the video going. Let's see what it records like. Might not be the brightest room to record in this, but it is really nice and stable. Really nice and stable. Let's 
Well, I'm impressed how stable it is. So really the nice little drone to be honest. I don't think it's bad for the money at all. It's not a tello. But it's not tello money. But you can see for yourself what the camera looks like at the end of this. Obviously it's according to your phone. So you're going to get a bit of that. But yeah, it flies superbly well. Very, 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 very smooth. Extremely smooth. I'm very happy with the way it flies, to be honest. It's quite responsive. It's not bad at all. I think it'd be much. I think it'd be great outside, to be honest with you. And so that's gone up to speed mode three. Yeah, you can see it's quite a bit more responsive, but yeah. So in the outside mode, yeah, that's much better. So yeah, that's speed mode three, and as you can see, it's much, much, much more responsive to the throttle. So like I say, for the price of this drone, considering what you get with it, and you get this to control it with, I don't think it's bad. So you can see I am totally hand-free. And it is really stable. There you go, like a battery. So I think that's a good place to end the video.